Hey, welcome back. This is episode 19 of the Part-Time Players Podcast. This is a casual gaming podcast where two pals discuss the week's video game news. Um, my name is Reese Lagden and I'm joined by my co-host, Brad. How are you doing today, Brad? Ahoy, ahoy. Oh, okay. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah, that's a good so, yeah. intro. That's, that's, a Mr. Good. that's Mr. Burns from oh, uh, The Sims. Yeah. Does, that's, what? Does that's what Mr. That? Burns says, yeah, when he answers fine. Ahoy, ahoy. Ah, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. That's a good yeah. little trivia. Maybe each yeah. week you can do a different Simpsons character. Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Mm, no? Nah, can you not keep not. that up? Okay, nah, we'll, nah. We'll, we'll, we'll scrap that. We'll scrap yeah, that. scrap that, yeah. Um, we'll how's that. your week been anyway? Uh, yeah, good. All right. Um, just the usual, fitting in some video gaming time and looking for houses and working. So that's my... That's my um, weekly That's schedule now. That's my yeah. life, yeah. Looking for houses, going to the house and have a look at them, being disappointed and leaving and, uh, yeah, working. So, yeah, it's uh, not too bad. Oh, I, have, oh, I have got this week off. I'm off now for a week. So. Oh, wow, that's is, cool. That's nice. Yeah, I remember you nice. saying last, on the last episode, last week's episode, sorry, and, um, yeah. Well, what have you got planned for the week? Something well, exciting? two days I've got to do, like, something else – something different to do with work and then the rest of the days um i'm just gonna yeah hopefully play video games and you know chill. i've got to try and um fix my car so maybe okay. do that okay yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the uh, usual the usual you know the usual yeah stuff, so. yeah yeah you, you're a mechanic and playing yeah. games what what games are you planning to play uh well i want to play a little i want to try and do play a little bit more days gone just give it another chance Ooh, um okay. and i want to finish just kind of because i just want to get over and done with the mafia. Just kind of, just want to mm. finish it. Just to, yeah. yeah just I looked at that yesterday on my like the UI on the on my PlayStation. I was kind of like, am I actually going to play this again, or should I just yeah. delete it and forget about it? And yeah. I'm on the mindset of I'm just going to delete it. Yeah, because yeah, we're it's... kind of I got plenty of things to play up to PS5, mm. and it's got yeah. no chance once we hit that window. It's, no, it's too many no. things, so it's like that's why I want to get it done. It. Don't play it. Yeah, I want to. Want to get it done before then, and then you know me. I finish only finish games that I don't like, so you know that's mm. that's what I do. So yeah, yeah. do that, um, and then um, I haven't got to finish Spider Man yet because I'm going to get the Ultimate Edition. So that's all right. I can go on a back burner. Sure. And, uh, yeah, just um, as I say, yeah, play a little bit more Days Gone, but that might be a game where I'm like, you know what, I don't really, mm. yeah, just, <laughs> just stop playing it. But I'll give it another, <laughs> I'll give it another go. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now I think games are it's kind of like how I treat a book because they take so long to complete. If you're not really liking a film or like a TV show, I guess TV shows can be quite long, but you can just watch it and you get it over and done mm. with where a game and a book, is such a time commitment. Yeah. And I yeah. used to be in the mindset of like, I, I bought it, let's just finish it. And then yeah, like, yeah. I've, I can't remember who someone told me, it was like, if you're not enjoying it, just put it down. Like, especially with a book, yeah, which no, yeah. takes yeah. me so long to read a book. It's kind of like, I'm not really enjoying this book. Why am I going to spend the next couple of weeks reading it? It's just like, uh, just put mm. it down, pick up something else, because there's so much choice. So, um, yeah, don't exactly, waste your time. Yeah. I think I'm halfway through um, Mafia. So, yeah, yeah, just kind of, yeah, get, get plow on, plow on through, finish it, and then, yeah, move on. Yeah, no, I think yeah. I'm just going to... And then we um, all know... Go on, sorry. I sorry to say, and we all know, as when I get my... When I do move, you know, get my own place, I will have to start on um, Star Wars. So that's another another game. Oh, yeah, for the North. But, uh, yeah. I, dare, I think you should yeah, just I, forget about this little thing you've got with yourself, this little no, agreement. I've, no, I've... Just play the game. No, Jesus. <laughs> no, I've done, put it in... I've, I've made an agreement with myself, and I have to oh, follow it weird, through. Weird, weird, weird thing. All right, all right. Mm. Um, yeah, no, my week's been really busy. Or well, I pre-ordered. I watched the Apple event, which was fantastic. Mm. I pre-ordered a um, iPhone 12. Okay, I've got yeah, a blue yeah. one, so that's coming next Friday. Um, and oh, you got that, it on contract, or did you buy it outright? No, I got it on contract with O2. Yeah, I kind of yeah. got this brand. I guess I could have got a SIM only. That's what I'm on at the moment. And although um o2 are probably not the best network obviously everybody keeps talking about ee in the uk is like the best the fastest mm. whatever and no one just got that brand loyalty it's kind of like o2 have done nothing wrong i've been with them for so long now yeah. i don't really want to switch and also with 5g now a bit like what i was talking about last week with the frame rates it's kind of like at what point does it not matter because ee's 5g speeds are like 200 and 
O2 is like 160, apparently. Yeah, yeah. But I'm currently on like 18. So jumping to 160, which exactly, is way yeah. faster than my fiber I've got at home that I'm getting from BT, it's kind of like, mm. do I really need 200 from 160? Does it actually matter at this Yeah, day? yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. kind of like, eh, it's so fast, you just don't even think about it. What's the um, what's the data packages like on 5G with O2? Like, what do you mean in terms of price? Well, cap. price and like, yeah, you got cap, like, yeah, how many gigs you're going to get on and all that. So, so I've got 90. Okay, yeah. And yeah, it I've was kind of like a really big jump. It was kind of like 15 was like, I think, 40, 48. Mm. And then 51 pounds was like 90. And it was like, for the sake yeah. of like three, four pounds, I thought I might just have that peace of mind. I just paid the little extra. Um, and that's so, 5G, obviously, where available, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I, I yeah, stupidly so. didn't check that 5G was available in um, Sheffield before ordering it, yeah. which I did check afterwards and it is available, but only in like the city centre and yeah, like yeah. the like where I live and like Kellam Island and like the surrounding area within Sheffield is um, has got 5G. Okay. Funny enough, like a lot of places in Essex, like where I used to live, yeah. um, don't have it. So if I was still at like home or whatever, I wouldn't have um, 5G. It was only be, like, yeah, when yeah. I go to work in London. But yeah, I have it here. So it makes cool. you like where where I live. When you go outside of London, it's like you got four G, and then it goes three G, and then it just ends up E. You just got E, and you're like, <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, I won't do nothing on my phone. Then it's just uh, yeah, it's like E, and then nothing. There's yeah, no just, signal. Yeah, it's yeah. gone. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah just, there are some little rural areas of Essex where there's just no signal at all, especially like round. I've been like Brentwood and all six yeah, kind of that um, way, like the little roads there's a place um where my girlfriend is uh girlfriend's granddad used to own a pub in this little village called pleshy near, like in chelmsford near chelmsford like but rural sure yeah and um she used to say to me like when we first got going out like oh i'm gonna have uh i'm going to my granddad's pub and you don't get no phone signal there and i was like oh yeah she's you know obviously there's bullshitting me you know whatever <laughs> um but then when i went there literally yeah you didn't get no no, no phone signal you just that was it no phone signal no no data no data nothing it was just dead okay maybe sometimes that's um, not a bad thing you just get it's nice from yeah the world and there's no one yeah. can bother you you can't check your phone you can actually spend time with people around yeah. you which is awful it was it's terrible yeah it was it awful like I, didn't, I didn't have to talk to her i had to talk to her and i didn't <laughs> yeah. like it no it was, it was a really nice little village we went there once and it was snowing and we went outside and it was just obviously really quiet this tiny little village okay. and there's just snow on it everything and it did look like something at harry potter Okay, it was cool. like really, like, it was really it was quite, yeah, 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 proper yeah. like just little village, yeah. But um, okay, cool, yeah, yeah. I nice, don't know nice. what the 5G, 5G situation is around my area, but um, mm. yeah, I'm keeping mm. my phone for a little while anyway. So, because oh, yeah. I suppose where you move to is um, you have to little check it exactly, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, I've, yeah. I've got my phone for another two years on a contract I'm on, so yeah. oh, really, okay, yeah, you had a newer phone than me anyway. I had the f- iPhone 10. Which I think I've yeah. had it maybe three, four years. Which yeah, for yeah, me yeah. personally is a long time to have a phone, like four mm. years. And I feel like I used to switch like every year, every two years. And it's kind of like at this stage, you don't really need to do it that frequently. Um, exactly. Yeah. So I think every four years, and I was waiting for this year's one because I knew it was going to be five G. I was hoping it would be one hundred twenty refresh rate on the screen. I feel like what you've got on your iPad, iPad Pro. Um, mm. But yeah, they um, apparently couldn't do it. I think they're probably going to blame COVID like everybody else. Yeah, yeah. Is that, that's the reason why they're um, not putting an, a, a wall adapter and headphones in it as well, isn't they? Because they reckon they can ship more units. That's the only reason they're doing it. Oh, I've so, always to do with the environment. They did a long speech yeah. in their last keynote and the one before because it's not mm. with the Apple Watch either. You don't get yeah. a power plug thing in the Apple Watch yeah, yeah. either, which I guess some people are going to hate because they hated it when Apple removed the headphone jack and everybody lost their minds and then everybody got used to it. And it's the same with this. Everybody else will is that, is that That still is annoying. I do find that annoying in a minute. I just got, an, I got a, a newer car and it's only got an aux cable because I'm going to change the, the head unit. But at a minute, it's only got an aux. I ain't okay. got Bluetooth. And um, now I have to have two phones. I have my phone and then I have my old iPhone for podcasts so I can use the aux lead and it's just uh okay yeah, that's it just, yeah, so can't you get a lightning to uh, like jack I can cable? but I haven't got one and I need to use it I needed to use it like when I was driving around this week ah uh, okay so yeah Amazon, I did have one Amazon next day delivery man yeah 
I think that's I ordered one after this. Yeah. Yeah. I've got my Amazon basic lead that I've got plugged in. Yep. So. Well, so it's good because I, I, I bought the car and I opened the glove box and there's this like really high quality, decent aux lead in there. And I was like, nice. So, <laughs> so, so you were the so, lead that came with. Yeah. Like someone, okay. someone didn't, someone didn't leave, uh, didn't take this out before they uh, sold the car. I was like, okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Nice. But, um, yeah. Look no, in, um, a little free accessory. So, yeah, no. The, the new um i know this this is a gaming podcast everyone sorry we're getting to this is the new apple podcast um the, the lead <laughs> the, the charge you get with the new iphone is it lightning and in one side is USB C? is that right yes okay so for me i wouldn't that won't affect me anyway because obviously i've got my ipad pro plug so it would just yeah that's USB C. yeah, yeah, yeah same so with me because i've got my mac and then when i bought my airpod pro they all came with like lightning to USB C. yeah yeah so i've already got like um lightning to USB C cable already. Like yeah. here. And then I've got like USB C to USB C. And also the switch. The switch um cable it's is also yeah, USB C. Exactly so yeah. I've got a few already. So it's kind of like yeah, yeah. it doesn't so bother me. The charging the port the charging port for the phone is still lightning. Yes. It's just okay. I, cause I yeah. thought they also gonna change it to USB C as well, but obviously not. No, the, the I feel like they're trying to hold out for their lightning because they control that completely. Yeah, yeah you can't that's annoying thing about there's like i can't remember what accessory is there's like an accessory that i wanted where it's like lightning to something else and because apple you only can get lightning from apple like third parties and i know third parties can yeah, do yeah. it i think it's the female lightning is what you can't make only apple can do yeah, it yeah. um mm. and it was like i because i actually i wanted to use my lightning earbuds yeah, on yeah. my mac and I've only got USB C and like an aux cable, so it's like, how do you do that? And there's you just can't. There's no accessory yeah. that's going to allow you to use those headphones with a Mac. You have to have Bluetooth no, yeah, or buy a wire like I've done on Amazon. So yeah, strange. Yes. Yeah, hmm. So yeah, no, it is what it is. Our journey. See, my my Mac, my Mac still got two USB ports. So yeah, yeah, it's quite. Yeah, and the HomePod Mini was quite cool. I don't know if you saw that uh no it's no uh, uh, it's like their little alexa or google home yeah, yeah. competitor um so yeah yeah it comes out next month so might check no, that out cool. i've been holding out for that mm-hmm. so yeah cool anyway enough about apple i suppose we should talk about video games if we have to video yeah if you have to yeah i suppose in this apple pod in this apple podcast yeah. <laughs> yeah, apple cool. slash gaming yeah um so yeah. do you want to kick off with the news uh yeah let me uh, kick off the news. So I well, actually, you kick off the news because um, my dogs are barking in the background. So you just you kick off. And- okay. So the first news story that I have is an Avengers update, really, um, and it's basically in two parts. One is the future content, which there's some uh, bad news for me, and also about the patch. So this week they released a patch version one point three point three. Um, which basically was just a really a quality of a life update. Um, they basically opened up a new, um, oh, what do you want to call it? Outpost, um, like the shield base. And you've now got, um, yeah. um, oh, what's her name? I can't remember what her name is now. The, what's the, what's the character that is like, works with fury. Miranda, uh, Ma- Miranda Maria Hill Maria, Maria Hill. Hill that's the one yeah so she's the, the head of kind of shield in the game and it's basically her outpost her thing um they've also added like faction posts so the terminals so you you don't have to go to each outpost to get these different like bounties each time so there's a really good quality of life stuff because it was a bit of a pain and especially where they positioned them in the outpost you had to run to the other end then yeah. you had to come all the way back then you had to then fast travel to the other outpost and then run to the other end of that one. And then, yeah, it was like, it was a bit of a pain before you could, and you kind of need to do that before you start any mission where yeah. they've located them all in one spot in this outpost. So um, it's a really good quality. Of, and you could actually run now in outposts, which is um, is really cool. So some really good quality of life stuff. Um, there's also a new mission, which I haven't actually tried yet. Um, Substation Zero um, mission, which I haven't tried um, but I will do. Um, yeah. I was supposed to play with my friend on Thursday when it got released, but I um, I went for food and stuff, so I missed out, and he um, ended up doing it with matchmaking. So, yeah, I need to get him to redo it again. Yeah. Um, the other part of the news with um, 
Avengers was they've decided to push the Kate Bishop um, back a bit. Um, yeah, yeah it's supposed that. to be released this month, um, but they've removed it out of October now. Um, they said slightly out of October, which means to me the beginning of November, yeah. which is like, really? That's like the worst mm. possible. You're putting it in this window where there's new yeah, consoles. Yeah. You've got all these. I can name all the games, but everybody knows all the games that are around that area. I feel like it's like the worst possible time to release it. Um, I don't know if they would be better to shift it even further. I don't know. I don't know what the right solution is. They kind of had to hit October for me. And it's a little bit unfortunate that they're not for them personally. Um, another kind of little bit of a disappointing um, announcement that they made was they also decided to shift the PS5 and Xbox Series X launch to next year um, to ensure the team has time to deliver next-gen experience showcasing all the game has meant to be. Um, and they said the more diesels to come. Until then, however, you will be able to continue playing the current gen versions <laughs> on the next gen consoles um, by just obviously re-downloading the game, or you can insert obviously your PS4 or Xbox One disc. Um, two of the most obvious benefits of this is improving frame rates and faster load times. In addition, players will make the jump two PS5 and Xbox One will be able to play co-op with their friends on PS4 and Xbox One. Um, okay. Sorry, when I said Xbox One, I meant Series yeah, X. Yeah. The, their naming is just stupid. Um, yeah. I, I was a little bit confused because I presumed that the upgrade to next gen was the frame rates and stuff. So are they saying you get that from their bat? Like faster load times and improved frame rates. I, I'm not sure what the next gen upgrade is then because mm. i presume that's what it was the whole time yeah. so yeah i'm not sure it's, uh... i'm not sure what it is either but there you go but related to that also this week um destiny 2 also announced that they're delayed their next gen upgrade to december the 10th um which they did confirm is the 4k 60 um okay and ray tracing and all the extra stuff that they'll be adding to it, I would imagine. So, yeah, yeah that's the one I'm probably most gutted about because Avengers still looks kind of good because it's in 4K30, where Avengers, not Avengers, Destiny is still 1080p30. Yeah, and yeah. Although I'm not a PC Master Race guy, I'm a PlayStation guy, it is very noticeable when you're jumping from yeah. that to that, like I said last week. And it's probably going to be even more noticeable when I'm on a PS5 and I'm playing games like Cyberpunk, Spider-Man, mm. and then I've got, obviously, Go new back. Blonde Light, and I'm jumping to that. It'll be like jumping, like, a previous gen, really noticeable. Yeah. So, yeah, that's probably the one I'm most disappointed with that that's happening, where Avengers, I can kind of, okay, fine, it's not going to look as good. Uh, or maybe it will with the frame rates. I probably won't even notice it, but, um, yeah, it's a little bit unfortunate for them that they're coming out in such a busy window. I know, obviously, you don't play the game, but you got any thoughts on that at all? Yeah, so I saw I, I saw something um, during a week about um, like the player the player base is kind of like dropping off a bit for yes. Avengers because um, yeah, obviously people are completing the game like yourself and doing all the end game stuff, and uh, for them to push back some of the DLC is uh, a bit you know it's a bit of a sore spot in it really because people are going to carry on playing it. Um, another thing I want to ask, so you know they said they was going to bring out Hawkeye, so the Hawkeye, is that Kate Bishop, or do you gonna, you're going to get Hawkeye, you know, like, Finn. yeah, as well, or? Yeah, you get both, yeah. Oh, you get both, yeah, okay, yeah. so that is a question. But yeah, yeah I think Kate Bishop is first, and yeah. then you get Clint, but I feel like the story continues, like her story Goes is like the his. first part, and then the second part of the Hawkeye story is him. Yeah, yeah. It would be interesting to see, yeah, if the player base, you know, the numbers do carry on, um, you know, like come back or they level off or, or they just drop because... I think I they'll pick up. Yeah, some people have already started comparing it to Anthem, haven't they? So it's... Uh, yeah, it's definitely not that. And that's not because um, I have any bias towards it at all. It's generally Division. That is the best example. It yeah. is literally Division. Like, you played Division 1, I played mm. Division 2. I know you obviously jumped in Division 2 late, but... I played the base game of Division 1 and 2, and I never played any of the end game content of both of them. Yeah. All I, not end game, because I played end game with Division because it launched with it, but any of the post launch content, yeah. because it took so long for both of them to come out, mm. I moved on. Where yeah. I, the only benefit this has got, and I guess maybe I'm a little bit biased with that because I like superheroes, is the thought of playing with a different hero 
entices people to bring come back where with division you're still playing as your character you just got new stuff with your same character and that's the unique thing and the best compliment like i said before about avengers is each individual hero feels like a completely different game and unique and they've done Mm. that really well so it's like when i jump in and i want to play as kate bishop i know she's going to play completely different and probably hawkeye and like clint um will probably they're both would play probably similar but then when i don't know spider-man comes you know he's going to be completely different and maybe they'll bring in yeah. dr strange or black panther or whoever scarlet witch do you know i mean these great characters that they could introduce and i think people would just jump in just because they want to try out the new character yeah so a little yeah. bit of a different um i don't know that's the kind of the benefit of why i feel like people will jump back in yeah no well yeah we're gonna obviously you're, you're gonna you're invested in the game so you're gonna get the updates so you can let us know what um what's going on and what it's like and mm, mm. yeah if it's still worth um and picking up i i don't think I'll, i don't think i'll ever play it to be yeah. fair but um fair yeah enough. it's uh you're our avengers correspondent so um yeah we'll, we'll we'll hit you back up when uh when they come out and you can let us yeah. know what's going on another interesting point i think with these types of games and it was like what they said, because Destiny's already confirmed it. I imagine Call of Duty would be doing the same. A lot of these um, like multiplayer shooters, I know this is not a shooter, but the ones that are shooters, because mm. the shooters are getting more affected, is that you're playing cross-gen. Yeah. And it's kind of turning into like PC gaming. And it's kind of like, are people that are playing Destiny on like 4K60, and then they're playing people on PS4 that are on 1080p30, the PS5 players are going to have a real advantage because like yeah. that's why they we don't cross consoles with PC because they say PC has an advantage because of yeah. the faster graphics and frame rates and all things like that. Yeah. We're now going to get that split in console gaming, especially with yeah. like Call of Duty and things like that. Call of Duty is supposed to be four K up to one twenty, mm, mm. and it's like four K thirty, I would imagine, on the PS Four. Wow, that's yeah. like people playing the PS Five and CODs. Uh, that's that's a real yeah that's gonna that's be gonna... my excuse for being rubbish if i play those games so you can well no you've got a ps5 so you're the one with the advantage <laughs> shit yeah. I'll, I'll just play it on you my have PS5. zero excuses now yeah, i'll be playing on my ps4 i'll just yeah i'll just yeah okay mate okay yeah. <laughs> um so yeah interesting yeah yeah no it is yeah i say um yeah we'll, we'll come back to your uh avengers reviews mm. uh, and load times like, as well you gotta think yeah. about that yeah. So the SSD. So I will load into like, I don't know, Destiny, Avengers, whatever, really quick. And then if I'm in matchmaking with someone who's on a PS4, well, I've got, I just got to wait around for yeah, them exactly, to load yeah. their really slow so console. No, no advantage. <laughs> it's just gonna, you know what I mean? Gonna, it's like, yeah. wow, I'm just going to be on the black screen because I've loaded in with like two seconds and they've taken like a minute. Yeah. Yeah. You get, you're at a disadvantage. You pay more for. Yeah, to wait around. You, you know, shouldn't have upgraded. Should have waited. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I don't. I, I won't quite take that view. But yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, I just don't want to play with the old race people. You know, it's yeah. all about the oh, new we, new gen. Yeah, I just want the new now. gen. Yeah, he, he's he's look, he, you're one of them already. What a new gen? Yeah, yeah. I am new gen. Yeah, oh, new gen. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're well, a new gen as well. What are you talking about? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, Right, next, my next, uh, my next news segment is um, it's a little bit of fun. Just a little bit of fun uh, yeah. on the uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. You're going to get to have a cat sidekick, Spider Cat. So uh, yeah, they come awesome. up. Uh, there's a little um, on the Verge article. Uh, they they showed like some more like gameplay in that, and uh, in one of the missions you find a cat, and um, you can yeah, adopt, I don't know, you like adopt him, I suppose, and. Stick him Adopt in your backpack. <laughs> well, he's, he, you find him and he's just strength? kind of. Um, well, it's in a, when you're in like a when you're in one Why of the missions. Why is he not a family cat? Is he not a family cat? No, I think it says here when you like you do a mission, you beat up the bad guys, and then there's like a a cat there, like a bodega cat. I don't really know what that means. Um, I think it's a type of cat, oh, but I feel yeah, like yeah, he yeah. from the pictures I've seen, he's in like a backpack that you carry yeah around. i think i think he finds yeah i think he finds the cat and then that's it he's and he's, he's, he's a straight spider-man cat. steals the cat basically a, and um he's a cat thief yeah he's a cat thief and then you can uh put his little mask on a cat some may it. say he's a pussy thief oh jesus <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. sorry about that sorry about that listeners it's, sorry for uh, yeah, i think we should just end it now we'll just cut oh, okay this, well, this, yeah, yeah. no but um, this this cat yeah it, and then it can uh it can actually do finishes and that so it's just a yes yeah, it's just a little bit of a uh, little bit of 
you know, a bit of fun. So, cat in a backpack. So, yeah, that was it. Was, it was not a massive news story, I know, but yeah, if you if you was holding out buying Spider Man Miles Morales, there's a cat in it now. So, uh, you everybody know. likes cats. Yeah, other than and dog exactly. people. People like cats in Valhalla, you can stroke cats, you know, in The Witcher 3, there's mm. other cats knocking about who hate each other. So, yeah, yeah, cats sell games, maybe. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, but I thought it was just a bit of, you know, a bit of a uh, little bit of fun story there. Yeah, no, it's cool. Um, I'll obviously will try out the cat outfit mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with a little backpack and try a little psychic. You yeah, know, I think it's going to be cool. It's a little bit of fun. Yeah. Um, like you said, having a little sidekick. And did you see the, the stuff this week on Game Informer, obviously they showed like one of the trade, not one of the trades, but one of the missions. You got like you and Pete swinging through the beginning bit, and it just, I don't know, it looks so cool. I just can't wait to play. Yeah. Yeah. It's so good. It looks gorgeous. So, yeah. So excited for that game. It's going to be good. It is going to be good. Um, why we're on Sony, uh, story number three is um, Sony clears up when and how it will listen to recordings. Um, on PS5 voice chats, which also includes PS4 voice chats, because I saw, before I even saw this article, I actually noticed it when I joined a party um, after the update, and it actually came up on like the thing saying, this chat can be recorded, or we're recording this chat kind of thing. I was like, oh, all right, strange. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, if you're not aware, um, this week we had an update 8.0 on the PlayStation Network, um, or the PS4, sorry, and basically um they've introduced a feature that um sony can listen in to um voice chats um and basically they've kind of come out and apologize or said that it was a little bit misleading or they should have explained it a little bit clearer um what it meant so um so sony have clarified more details surrounding the controversial new playstation voice chat recording feature um, first mentioned in its recent 8.0 update earlier this week, after some users were led to believe the company were actively recording and monitoring conversation among private groups. In a new blog post um, published Friday, uh, Catherine Jensen, um, Sony's Vice President of Global Consumer Experience, admits the company should have made it more clearly explained why this function has been rolled out. Um she goes on, basically the reason why they've done it is for reporting, so um, community code of conduct and um, violating that kind of thing. So if anybody um, reports um, online abuse or harassment, um, obviously they'll just have evidence that they can go back to to show it. Um, so, but yeah, I'm not surprised that they're introducing things like that because I imagine there's a lot of um, people that join parties who people that don't know and they absolutely get abused yeah um, it's, it's been like that for years and everyone knows that that's kind of uh, um playing online people that's the one of the first things they think of is you just get yeah you just get abuse and um well or even like people like to less like you know people playing like loud music or just ruining the chat for everyone else i know mm. when i play online now if i'm not in a party with my mates if i'm just doing it with matchmaking i mute it i don't want i don't want to listen to anyone you know you're playing and then there's someone just constantly yeah just you know just yeah just being a dick basically yeah that's true yeah, yeah you've so. got a choice obviously you can mute it you can leave yeah so when some people are saying again online abuse or harassment you know what i mean like you're yeah. choosing to stay in that harassment it's not nice yeah it's i not nice. personally it also yeah. only play with like people i know as well or yeah. have like communities of people that I play with. Like I would play with you. I play with my friend Christian or Brad or the Destiny group that I play with. I play yeah. with the same people, and we all know each other. And there's obviously exactly, really good yeah. banter within the group. But because exactly, we all yeah. know each other, it's it's fine. Um, there's yeah. no kind of no one really gets upset. But yeah. um, yeah, I could see why that would need to be introduced with some people. Because when I used to play by myself, I used to play FIFA on like Ultimate Team quite a bit, mm. like competitively. And I was quite good at FIFA at one stage when I used to play all the time. And on the PS3, um, I used to get just like messages after the games. Absolute like, yeah, it's no, yeah. really like, they're normally like foreign. So I would have to Google Translate and it was some kind of like, your dad's gonna fuck you. I don't know. It was some kind of like yeah, really like really, yeah. Like, I used to get it. Yeah, so I night. blocked. I actually now block. Like no one can message me other than my friends. Yeah, I changed my settings so I never get any messages from anybody. Yeah, it's uh, the same so. for me when I used to play Gears of War and that as well. Yeah, I used to get people message you afterwards. Oh, you stole my, you stole my down and just give you a lot of abuse. You know, just go back to my like, just you know get a life, mate. It's not really a game. 
but some exactly. people like we said before some people just either do it intentionally just to like get a rise out of people or they just don't know they just can't differentiate a game to how you actually are supposed to act in you know society but there's a lot of morons in the yeah. world yeah like social yeah. media like i said like we've said many exactly, times yeah. there's too many idiots and all yeah. you can do is just ignore them and hopefully they'll yeah. get the message and they'll just shut the fuck up yeah yeah exactly so yeah i'm not surprised that it's on there but like you say the way i choose it and the way you choose it you just said is only play only have that group chats with your mates and then you know, in the mates then yeah you can you know yeah um, wind each other up and, and take them take the mick and that but then it's like you say it's just it's just a bit of banter because your mates you all know you are and yeah you just you know giving each other yeah. shit for something that you've done so yeah and that's you know, that, and that's what makes it more fun for me playing online yeah you, you know? like playing with me because i can so, call you shit when you do yeah, something shit yeah like, well, like yeah, when I we played full guys and you can get past the first level yeah, yeah look listen <laughs> My, I'll tell you what, this is legitimate. This is a legitimate thing. I got so a crown, by the way. Did I Did I tell you that I got a crown? Oh, did you? Is the actual one? Yeah. Uh, well, I won. Well, well, whatever. Um, I have serious con- controller lag on my PlayStation 4. Oh, controller. here we go. I'm really bad. <laughs> no, serious, nothing to do with me. Uh, full, full guys, I was just bad, yeah. But um, when I planned, but when I was playing Spider Man, and well, any like it's definitely noticeable in that because you, you press the buttons to do something, you didn't do it. And even yesterday when I was playing the Mafia, it just kind of it just lags everywhere, and I've reset it, and I've you know done all that, and it just doesn't seem to. Yeah, it's just really okay, bad strange. lagging it. I don't I don't is know that why. Your TV? I mean, like, is that your TV you're playing? Is this your new TV? Oh, no, no, I ain't, I'm still playing on my old TV. It's this, yeah, and I've played it on obviously several different TVs since when I back when I used to have my own place in. It, it's the uh, yeah, it's my controller. I don't know what's the matter of it, but mm. luckily I've got new a, a HDMI new, a new console. cable. Have you used a different cable? Um. Yeah, well, I just kind of use this old. I've got an old like Samsung one I've been using for years. So I don't know. I don't know what's the matter of it, but yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad I've got a PlayStation new, one. New one. It might be your. I don't know where that that's gone. I don't know where that is. That's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That, that might sell. That went a long time ago. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, and hopefully when I do move, I used to have two controllers, and now I can only find one. So hopefully when I move, I'll find the other one as well because hmm. it's just well, disappeared. That solution should be sold when you get your PS Five. So. Exactly, yeah. Then I can just chuck it all at window. So, you know, exactly, just, yeah. You can just yeah, throw the yeah, controller just, on someone, just yeah. throw it at a neighbor or something. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, the yeah. next uh news story I've got is um, more Spider Man. So, they released uh, like a, a like a video of one of the missions as in Marvel's Morales and it was at 60 frames a second uh mm. yeah 4k and it looked really good so it's basically like a stealth mission you had like this uh, snazzy white suit uh, and you just kind of showcase not only like the graphics of how good it looks and how well it run but also kind of his abilities so he's got a lot more shock abilities um obviously uh, that's what he's got in the comics and mm, you could also shocking. saw oh gee it's he's done it again he's, he's done it again that's <laughs> this is why people um, are here for my yeah. comic relief go are you going to do another one you're going to make it free for free i may oh, okay we'll keep it uh, spontaneous uh, we'll see yeah they just pop in my head and i just say it yeah okay and um yeah and you also saw him back obviously the ability to turn invisible so um the, the gameplay actually looked like the different takedowns compared to the, the takedowns from the 2018 spider-man um mm. yeah varied and yeah it just looked really good i know some people were saying oh it was all stealth and that but i used to like the like the comp like and the original spider-man spider-man when you had to go to like the warehouses and take everyone out and do mm. it stealthily i used to i really enjoyed that i thought it was brilliant yeah, like the know, batman arkham yeah yeah show. kind of um like certain objectives to fulfill why you're doing them as well is to try and do that so yeah i'm really i'm really this it just made me more invested in getting this game on launch so yeah uh, have you pre-ordered yeah, it yet uh, i haven't pre-ordered it yet no okay no. i haven't pre-ordered cyberpunk yet either to be honest have you not so, <laughs> okay no fair to enough. be fair after i bought the playstation 4 uh, playstation 5 i kind of didn't have any uh funds enough funds to pre-order games as well so fair enough that'll be this you'll get them um, uh, disc as well i take it Disc, yeah, disc for both of them, yeah, yeah, yeah. and cool. then uh, uh, but, but yeah, it's um, yeah, re- this looks good. It looks, it looks really crisp. Um, and yeah, but, but, yeah, more excited to play. Like I said, it's, cool. Uh, yeah. So, no, can I? It's um, yeah, 
we've well I feel like we've gushed over this game enough we everybody yeah, who's yeah. anybody who's like Spider-Man or played a 2018 is going to be excited for this it's just going to be more of the same but I think pretty and probably even better because I feel like they'll iron out some of the uh, worst parts of the 2018 for me was the Mary Jane stuff so mm. um having Miles who's got more powers more abilities probably more of a fun game with like the cat and stuff and then yeah we're gonna have missions where obviously you're with Peter as well I don't know if Peter will be controllable but, but it'll be quite cool you say um the Mary Jane sections obviously even in the 2018 um game the Miles sections in that were like, like the ones I played in they were all sneaking like the one where I you forgot, had to try yeah, yeah, I forgot that you played yeah, sneak, well, yeah. sneak past yeah sneak past the rhino and everything it was a bit uh, yeah it was the same kind of mission wasn't yeah. it but it's a different character yeah but, but yeah those yeah, that, missions they, where you're not playing as Peter were the worst missions in the game for me so yeah, yeah they should cut those out personally but they should yeah but still a great great game my second favourite game of um, current gen Okay, talking about, well, you were talking about cyberpunk. We had another Night City Wire, unfortunately. <laughs> um, and kind of, yeah, I, I, I was sitting on the last one, one, but we've got another one. Yeah, yeah. I didn't watch this one. Um, main, not only uh, mainly due to the fact that I don't really, I want to go in on their game now. I don't need to see any more, mm. like, you know, Night City Wire. So, yeah, I just, I didn't. Yeah. Do you want me to skip um, this new story? You don't want to hear what happened? Yeah, no, you can go for it. Um, but yeah, I just didn't. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, the, the, I listener, never... the, listener, the listeners want to know. They, I'm sure they do. Um, this is the first one I didn't watch live. I just watched it on like a repeat just to mm. see what they got sh- what got shown. But then I didn't pay much attention to the second part because yeah. we were talking about kind of reads and these companies, mobile company and how they got all the sounds. I was a little bit like, oh, it's kind of got a little bit boring now. Um so the main thing this was about was about transportation, cars, basically. And it just went into a deep dive into the cars. So there's um, five classes um, of cars. So you've got economy, executive, heavy duty, sport, and hypercars. The hypercars, mm-hmm. I don't know if you saw those. They look like a Bugatti. Like, they look sick. Honestly, they're just yeah, incredible. Yeah. Apparently, they're, like, really expensive. So, um, so... Pretty much all the cars in the Cyberpunk are obviously original creations from CD Projekt Red. Um, obviously, they've got a futuristic feel, but they wanted to still have like a combustion engine and feel like an actual car, hence they've yeah. recorded all those. The only um, real-life crossover is uh, Johnny Silverhand's car. He's got a 1977 Porsche 911. Um, oh, obviously, okay. that's 100 years. It would be 100 years old where yeah, the game's yeah, yeah. set, which I guess they thought was really cool. Um, how you can get different cars is I believe you can steal them and you can also buy them from your um, mission giver fixers. So oh, okay. um, I thought that was quite cool that you can actually steal cars and you can also obviously buy cars as well. Mm. Um, obviously, this game yeah. is going to review very, very highly critically. But when you see like people, like you saw little clips of him like, stealing cars, it looked a little bit mm. GTA. And I feel yeah. like a lot of people seeing that thinking, oh, my God, this is GTA in the future. This yeah, is not, not GTA, yeah. and I feel like a lot of people's expectations are going to be like, "Well, this dialogue and this missions are very slow," but yeah, The Witcher yeah. was because this is what yeah. this game is—is is a real RPG. I feel like a lot of people are going to be left a little bit. It's not going to hit their expectations because yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't realize what this game is. Maybe then, if you if Maybe. you go into this game thinking it's going to be GTA, you deserve to be disappointed. So. Oh, well, that's that's a harsh take. Yeah, Jesus, do your fucking research. There's been, a, there's, been a, there's been enough Night City wires on to show you what this game's going to be. So, <laughs> True. Yeah, you've had you enough know, information. Yeah. To be fair. You've had yeah, too much information. So, yeah. So, um, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, talking about Grand Theft Auto, a little segue there. Um, yeah. So, Rockstar or Rockstar's parent company, Take Two, have bought um, Crackdown Two. Uh, developers ruffian games and uh, the 40 person team is now going to be operating under rockstar dundee uh, obviously based in dundee scotland so yeah um yeah cool. the um, the founder sam hauser said that you know it's a good uh, it's a good move to be, uh, help with you know ongoing projects and some of the people in ruffian games actually have been in the industry for years some of them even going back to the days of like the original graph of thought so um yeah they didn't say what the new game they're developing is going to be but obviously some people are just hoping that you know well 
speculating it's going to be for the Grand Theft Auto 6. Uh, maybe this acquisition will help speed up the you know development time so we get it you know uh, fairly soon um but there's been nothing on grand theft Auto 6 so mm. you know it's, it's nothing but mm. then when red dead redemption 2 got announced they just kind of dropped a pic they just changed the picture on uh, twitter didn't they the profile picture so they could you never know just okay um, yeah do something like that. but um yeah there's not a lot of yeah not a lot of news on it but they say yeah just um taking that taking that comp bought that company and yeah, going to be uh, helping make it probably to sport them just to do more GTA Online stuff. You know, it's just, uh, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's just going to, yeah. But yeah, I, yeah that's not what their team specialize in. They do specialize in, I guess, mediocre action, yeah, action games, yeah. don't they? Well, like, yeah, cause... I've never played Crackdown. Obviously, I know Crackdown. Was it free? That was like absolute development nightmare. Or was that yeah, a different studio that no, did that? Yeah, Crackdown. I think it was a diff- different development studio than that one. Crackdown um, free. I never played. I don't even know if it's, it must still be on Game Pass. But I didn't see it the other day when I was on there. What's the um, one? Is it four or three? The, which was no, it's waste? free. Yeah, it's, it's free. free. It's okay. to, it, was, it was delayed for years. Um, Crackdown one was a masterpiece. I absolutely loved it. It was so good. Uh, so such good gaming elements like you can kind of tackle the bosses on you know whatever way you wanted and you had like you know the, like you had like um like shooting like you, the more shoot the more people you killed of like using guns the better shooting um skill one up and jumping and in the end you could jump like you know hundreds of feet and that is brilliant um yep. the second one was a bit more which these guys made was okay. very mediocre it was nowhere near as good as the first one um, it was just kind of rinse and repeat gameplay, uh, which I didn't, I just didn't enjoy. Mm. Uh, and like I say, uh, Crackdown 3, I was really excited when it got announced, but it took years to come out. And, um, you know, it even come out in Game Pass, and I still thought I can't be bothered to to play this. And apparently it was, wasn't was very good because it, like, yeah, stuck in development hell, and it was just, yeah, just bad. So, yeah, sure. I didn't play that one. But Crackdown 1, yeah, great. Um but yeah, number two, what not so good. Yeah, you're, well, you wouldn't be surprised to know that I've never played a Crackdown. I'm seeing Xbox, yeah, yeah, but yeah, um, yeah interesting. I, I'm more obviously interested about obviously GTA Six and how that will affect that. It only can mm-hmm. I only could think of, it of positives. Obviously, you're hiring more exactly, people, yeah, yeah. bigger team. Obviously, they will be under the direction of Rockstar North, I would imagine. Mm-hmm. Um, who I guess are they still the main developers for GTA? I think Rockstar North. So um, mm. I'm not sure. I feel like it's Rockstar North. I think so. Yeah. Rockstar. Um. So yeah, we'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Say, yeah. But like, we're still so far away from it. It's um, exactly. Yeah. Maybe yeah, seven. maybe I don't know. 2022. You might get an announcement for it potentially. Maybe we'll yeah. get it next or year. Like- just drop one out of the blue, maybe you never know. But yeah, it's. Um, mm. Did yeah, they do the Fallout treatment with um, with Red Dead? Did Red Dead do like their announcement thing the same year it got released? No, so Red Dead, I think they announced it in two thousand and because it got delayed a couple of times as well, didn't it? So okay. I think they, I think they put the, I think it was like from them like changing their profile picture on Twitter to. Um, it actually coming out was like a year and a half, maybe, because I know mm. it was supposed to come out in spring 2018, and then they said we've got to push it again back to, to October, and um, and, okay. and I think it was delayed before that as well. So um, yeah, I, I have a look at that. Right, let me. Uh, when was Red Dead? Yeah, I know it wasn't like it was like because Fallout 4 kind of said it at E3, and then it was out by November. So yeah. Um, yeah, I know they did their own event because obviously Rockstar of Rockstar, they never turn up at anybody else's event other than PlayStation occasionally with the GTA stuff. But yeah, whenever there's a new game announced, they normally do their own thing. Yeah. Um, so it was here. Yeah. So sorry. Um, Rockstar Games first teased Red Dead Redemption 2 on October the 16th slash 17th, 2016. And it was uh, officially announced on October 18th, 2016. And then obviously it came out in uh, 26th of October, 2018. So two years, yeah. So, okay, fair enough. I think they'd done the same for Grand Theft Auto 5, didn't they? They, they announced it on in 2012. They showed a trailer, and then it was yeah. a year before. Yeah, was that like in September? I September. feel like it was in September. September 2013, yeah. yeah I, I remember, remember, yeah, vaguely, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I remember cool. getting into work at, uh, at 5 o'clock in the morning and getting everything ready for the launch. And everyone coming impressed. in, yeah. All the, all, the young, all the kids that are too young to, to buy it, you know, can I, can I get this? No. 
go away. Yeah. <laughs> they're not with their mums. They're not with their mums. No, they're not with their mums. Strangely no. enough, although obviously I like GTA, everybody likes GTA, but I'm not like crazy, crazy over heels. It's like I actually went to a, like a mid like launch to get that game, and mm. I just kind of know when you just think back, you're like, why did I do that? I was like, I yeah, yeah, I don't know, but it was more of a competition thing, I think, because everybody from in my football team, I used to play in a team back then. And because I didn't pre-order it, everybody was like, there's no way you're going to get it because like, it, there was yeah. rumours that it was going to be completely sold out. So yeah, I yeah. wanted to prove them wrong and I wanted to get it before everybody else. So I went at midnight <laughs> to like a yeah. Tesco or whatever and actually had it, took a picture of it and I had it before everybody else because they obviously all pre-ordered yeah. to have it delivered the next morning. The, yeah. It's, so, it's like, yeah. Um, it's, obviously I didn't work in a game shop, so they're going to have a lot more stock quantity, but... I worked in a supermarket and the amount of games we used to get in was unbelievable. Just like mm. boxes and boxes and crates full of them. So you had the hundreds of, of units and that was just, you know, like, so yeah, there's always a, I think we sold, we did, we sold out of Grand Theft Auto 04 when that one first came out. Um, mm. But other than, we never, never sold out of games really. It just, there's yeah. always, there's always enough. So yeah. 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 It's uh Interesting stuff. Yeah, no, it's, We're yes. talking about games coming out. Um, my last news story this week is Assassin's Creed Valhalla goes gold um, ahead of its next month's release on obviously PS5, PS4 and Xbox One and Xbox Series X. Um, obviously, the game is planned to launch on November the 10th um, and obviously November the 12th on obviously PS5. For mm-hmm. in America, obviously, we won't get it to the 19th here in the UK. Apparently, um, I saw. Sorry to interrupt again. Um, I saw it. that they might be uh, releasing accessories. I don't know if games as well, like early, a week early in the UK as well. But okay. You can't get you can't get the console until the nineteenth. So you can yeah. have the game, and you can have the accessories, but you can just you know can't play the actual uh, yeah can't play the, the can't play it on the PS Five. So okay, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. don't know why they do that, but no, maybe if they're doing a. A launch and the launch is the 12th for the PS5. Exactly, yeah. And it's so. worldwide launch, and there's no reason to delay it. I suppose mm. it makes a difference to people, does it? If it's sat on yeah. a shelf for a week, yeah, exactly. Or whatever yeah. it is, like, whatever. Um, well, it makes a difference to me because I'm going to buy it digitally anyway. So, um, yeah, yeah. I will have it downloaded on my PS4 and then have to re download it on the PS5. But yeah, no, it's really good. Day. It's gone gold. Um, I saw another gameplay trader for this this week, and I'm actually really excited for it. I saw all the things a bit more in depth about the settlement and stuff. So um, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick it up. I don't know whether or not I'm going to have time to play it in that window, um, but I will yeah. definitely play it at some point. Weirdly enough, a Ubisoft game that's actually coming out before that is obviously Watch Dogs Legion, which is obviously the 29th of October, has not gone gold yet. Mm. concerning or yeah. well, they haven't announced yeah. it anyway and we're like what two weeks obviously we're coming yeah. on the 18th as we're recording we're like 11 days away under two weeks and the game has not been confirmed as gold and it's already been delayed what like three times i feel like yep yep cool. so yeah are people are people now thinking that oh it's a bit more of the same and like you say it's a big it's a busy it's a busy window so you're going to get the fans of the watchdogs who are going to buy it regardless but other people like us which want to play other games they're thinking i'll hold off you know I'll, I'll... Mm, this is a game where i'm yeah. like i'm already quite unsure about it, like we said because it plays like watchdogs the only thing that i find um appealing about it is the fact that it's set in london and I, I yeah, exactly, kind yeah. of, if you pitched to me a few years ago, Ubisoft would make an open world game in a futuristic London. Are you in? Yes. Yeah, exactly. I, yeah. Definitely. Ubisoft, open world. I like Ubisoft open world games. London, yeah. let's go. Like that, I, if I was going to like put like them things together, I would be like, it's probably not a better publisher that I would want. Or maybe other than Rockstar. Um to do like an open world London game, like Ubisoft are kind of, they are kind of the kings at them, them types of games. So yeah, it's just unfortunate that it's got the watchdogs label on it and it's not Assassin's Creed or division. Division is the one I want more than anything. Division three, set it in London. Although it doesn't make sense because I know division is supposed to be a American government thing. So I don't know how they can make it go abroad, but make it work. 
and make it in London. Exactly, yeah, yeah. Now we have to wait and see what the reviews are like as well when it comes out because it's like neither of us are going to pick it up on launch. Yep. Um, because we've got other well, stuff to do. We want to play, so yeah. Well, we did our yeah, prediction last week. I don't think I can't remember what we did, but I feel like we put in like the seventies. I feel like we're, yeah, we're not, I think it was, like, it? yeah, yeah, like kind of like a seven yeah. out of ten, which I can see it being nothing, mm. nothing exciting. But I don't think it's going to be bad. If you know what I mean, it's just going to be just meh. Just a mm. yeah. An okay game, which is going to be surrounded by fantastic games, which games, is going to exactly, make it look yeah. shit. Like, it's, yeah, hmm. you're going to get lost. It's going to get lost in the yeah, in the uh, in the in, in all the, the other games getting released. So yeah, we'll wait and see what that's like, um, and yes. then maybe we'll pick it up. You know, um, we won't say no, but yeah, it won't be at launch. Um, so my last news story for the week is. Um, that Phil Spencer did an interview and he was talking about Bethesda and whether or not they will have to uh, release like future Bethesda titles um, like Elder Scrolls 6 on PlayStation 5 to make it viable. Yeah. And basically, um, he said no, you know, he said no, they don't, they won't have to bring it to the PS5 to make the deal that they, you know, when they bought Zenimax Bethesda worth, you know worthwhile um they've got like he said you know they've got the xbox and they've got the pc so it's not gonna it's not a make or break so you know kind of they said they've said before that the console exclusive they've got already they're gonna honor so um death loop and uh go i can't remember what the other one was called um tokyo ghostwire tokyo yeah for playstation 5 they're they're in but yeah, this kind of I don't know, a little bit of flexing, saying, well, you know, we don't need to, we don't need to bring it out on a PS5, because yeah, yeah, they don't, you know, it's, it's gonna, the deal's gonna be finished soon. They're gonna own it, and they know if they do bring like a Fallout or an Elder Scrolls out on Xbox and PC exclusively, it's just gonna be, yeah, people are gonna buy, you know, buy a console, even if it's like a, a Series S, just to, to play it, you know. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a big thing. I know a lot of people was wondering whether or not you know it is said are they going to exclude? He did he did basically say no, they ain't going to release on PS5. But he said if people are thinking it's you know make the deal worthwhile, no, it's not like that. So yeah, it's kind of they've got the they've got the power and they're wielding it. You know, will they release it? Won't they? And um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether they do or not. Um, but. Uh, yeah, I, it doesn't really matter for me if 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 a um you know if if an Elder Scrolls or a Fallout come out exclusive for Xbox, and I'd I'd have to get it. I was going to get an Xbox anyway, so yeah, I just play on that. It's fine, fine by fine to me. But like someone like you, what would you do? You know, you don't have a an Xbox. You've never had an Xbox. Would you buy one for a potential <laughs> Fallout or Elder Scrolls? You know, that that you're the people they're looking. They're, you're the people that they're you know marketing towards i am so. people i am people you are people yeah yeah <laughs> so are you would you do it would you go in? um two things i would like to say about what he said one mm. that's just pr talk because obviously they're on a console launch so mm. they want people to buy an xbox yeah, series that's what I mean. flexing, over ps5 yeah. do you know what i mean they're like oh yeah we'll definitely bring in all our best content to ps5 well then if i'm a consumer that's decided yeah, yeah. i would buy a ps5 because there's nothing to gain by getting an xbox other than obviously game pass um so he might just be pr talking it might still come to ps5 um would it make me buy an xbox i don't know i don't know maybe yeah maybe is the answer the problem that they've got is because of x cloud and game pass i can just subscribe to game pass for the month and then potentially play it obviously hopefully apple mm. saw out their stuff with microsoft by then yeah. obviously we're not going to get the games anytime soon yeah, and worst case scenario, I have to play it through Safari. Like I have to do it through the web browser, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And I play it either on my iPad, or I don't know something like that. And obviously, I don't yeah, know yeah. what controller I can use. I don't know. Maybe I have to buy an Xbox controller. Maybe mm. that's the investment I would have to make. If imagine they won't make the Dual Shock, not the Dual Shock, the Dual Sense, as it's yeah, called yeah. now. So annoying that they change names. Um, compatible, which obviously they won't. But. Mm, I don't know yeah. if I would buy a whole Series X just for one or two games. The only yeah, game yeah. I want to really play is Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Do I really need to... And then if I was going to buy it, a console, I would have to get the Series X because if I'm making that investment, 
Yeah, I've got to have it yeah. in 4K 60. Mm. Because if I'm not bothered about 4K 60, I'm happy with 1080p. I must just play it on my iPad. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know I what think, I mean? So, yeah. I think a lot of people you say that, yeah, you know, it, it is, yeah, that PR speak because the new, the new console is about to launch. But everyone's made up their mind by now whether they want a PS5 or Xbox One X or both on S. Yeah. Um, but I think this is where, and he said it in this interview as well, this is where the um, Xbox One S, Xbox Series S, sorry, could really shine because if people are playing on a ps5 they want to play elder scrolls but they don't want to spend like 400 pound or whatever on on an x they could just pick up an s you know what i mean they can't that's that, there's another option there's a cheaper option sure. i don't know a lot of hardcore gamers would do that because they'd want the a hardcore gamer uh they'd want the um you know the, like, the, like the full experience but for someone who just kind of wants to play it for uh, a Fallout or an Elder Scrolls, they could potentially, yeah, just go out and buy an S. So that could be where they, you know, that, that really comes into its own, the uh, the S. So. Why? Question. I don't know if there's some, obviously I don't know the technical, but most people got smart TVs. Mm. Yeah. Why don't you just, why don't they just put this, the X Cloud app on like a Samsung smart TVs? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that would make sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would be good as well. Like yeah. you got the app, you just launch it on your TV. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why you're restricted to a little screen. You yeah. open it up into the big screen. If they did that, I would subscribe. Exactly. Yeah. If yeah. I had access to X Cloud on my TV, I would buy an Xbox controller and I would just have access to them games. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. I know you're going to then undercut what's the point of the Series S, but I don't know. I, I would definitely go for the app version on the smart TV. Mm. And I feel that they would be quite stupid not to do that. I'm surprised yeah. Stadia has not done that. Like, why has Google not done that? I don't. Yeah. Is there a reason yeah. why they can't? I don't know if there's a technology thing, but if yeah. you can put it on like a little dongle thing, like a little stick, is it because they yeah, want exactly, you to yeah. buy the stick rather than just give you an app? Maybe. Yeah. Like, I'm maybe not sure. That, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a good question. Um, and you never know, maybe down the line they will do that. But uh, yeah, it's. Um, I think I will end up picking up a, a Series X at some point. So um, probably okay. when when and if these games get announced, they get, if they are exclusive or, you know, Halo Infinite looks looks decent and I want to play that. So, yeah, um, I'll yeah. wait a yeah, bit, but a bit further down the line. Decent? Does it? Yeah. I think it looks... Well, when, when it looks decent. When, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, when, okay. yeah. yeah. If although, it's it probably a, decent. although it's probably a good thing they got delayed. I know everybody was really upset for, like, Xbox fans. But if that was coming out on the 10th, with all these other big games and it was like mm. a yeah they probably did do the right thing for delaying it because it's yeah, a sure. bit like yeah. with Watch Dogs Legion it's just an okay game coming in with fantastic potentially fantastic obviously we've not played them yet but they look fantastic yeah it's just going to get on the shadow and it's going to look even worse in comparison to like Cyberpunk mm. and what obviously PlayStation are doing with um, Spider-Man and Demon Souls yeah, yeah. and their games so yeah, they probably did do the right thing as much as big Halo fans were obviously upset. They probably did do the right thing, delaying it until early next yeah. year. Yeah, no, they, I think they did do the right thing. Yeah, they want to make it look as, for the, the really, it's kind of like the flagship game of the next gen, so they want to make it look as best as it can, and it didn't look yeah. great when uh, when they showed it. So, yeah, they made the right choice, and uh, yeah, well, uh, I think that's it. I think that's a wrap for the news this yeah. week. Yes. It's a wrap, yeah. Okay, so we'll go on to the main topic of the show, um, which is the PlayStation UI breakdown. Um, we finally, um, I think it was on a Thursday, um, Sony finally dropped the video. It was around 12 minutes long. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, this is what we was waiting. We discussed last week the teardown, and we kind of said, and they obviously did a few, we had a few pieces in the news and we kind of said the only thing we've got left now is the ui and i said any moment now and i feel like they're just going to release it and then we yeah, kind of yeah. got it um and obviously we were kind of correct and now we've got it so after this i don't know what we're going to talk about because we've pretty much got everything we needed really but um I've, I've written down kind of 18 kind of bullet points um of kind of the breakdown of what happened in the video and features and things like that. And what we'll do is um, we'll just discuss our kind of our opinions, our thoughts, 
and kind of how we feel like it's how we're going to use the console and the UI and stuff like that. Um, so the first one is kind of the startup screen is how it kind of starts. Obviously, you've got these gold dots floating around. It looks very pretty. And they kind of explain that the whole system has been built from the ground up for uh, 4K TVs. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, they also did mention at the beginning that the video is based on a pre pre build. <clears throat> Sorry about that, people. Um, software, so there may be some changes when it does actually launch on the the nineteenth or the twelfth, wherever you are around the world. Um, so basically, how they side it is kind of a side up from rest mode. Um, which obviously we've got a feature on the PS4, but obviously that's coming over to the PS5 as well. And to my surprise, the game was still running. It was just resumed. It was just paused kind of thing. Mm. Um, yeah, do you, do you think that's kind of cool that you just got a game just running, just being paused while you turn it off and stuff? Yeah, I, I most of the time, if I you know, I do leave my PlayStation in, in sleep mode. So uh, just because I want to get back into the game you know, when I turn it back on, so that's good. Yeah, and literally turn it on, you're in, done. Instead of having to go in, you know, launch it. So yeah, I thought that was good. I thought that was a good. Um, yeah, yeah. I thought but, that yeah. was quite cool as well. I wonder how many games you can do that with, or it's just the one game. Because I listened to a video this week. I remember who said it. It was like a a YouTube or whatever, and they were saying about the quick resume with Xbox. Mm. And they were like, even we criticized it. It was like, why would you want to jump from like four games? Yeah, I, th- I saw point, this video as well. Yeah, I think they said that like, the whole point of it is that there's four games pulled at all times yeah yeah so as soon as you turn it on you can just jump between any jump game in, yeah. at any point yeah so that, like, yeah. wow wow that that's made incredible. it look good yeah because the way I, the video i watched kind of said that like, he's playing call of duty uh, but hey you want to go back and you want to play a little bit more red dead he just popped yeah popped it back in back, bang he's back in red dead so mm. uh yeah really good really good um yeah seeing it in action obviously made it look a lot more appealing but uh, yeah the quick resume on the new ps5 uh look good as well really yeah good. yeah you'll see if yeah. there's more than one game you can do at once like the yes. um xbox like the xbox yes um so the next one we kind of saw is they popped up the control center which is a little bit different obviously on the ps4 we got it all on the left hand side of you when you kind of hold the ps mm-hmm. button and now it's kind of this tiled card based yeah, thing yeah. at the bottom of the screen which is interesting um obviously the same you could access the control center by tapping the ps button um, and there's kind of, you've got like a menu at the bottom where you can see friends list, parties, downloads, music, and there's kind of management for like your controller, sound, notifications, and obviously power, a bit like what we've got now. Um, the more interesting part of what's kind of new right, was the cards. So one of the cards, well, the first card that they showed was official news um, from developers, um, obviously PlayStation and stuff. Yeah. It'd be interesting how that gets used. Yeah, obviously... People, mm. our listeners will come to us for the news because that's what that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. Is they that what they done? Yeah, they're taking us yeah. out of business. Yeah. yeah, they want to come to us for the news. But yeah, yeah. and my jokes, of course. This is yeah, why they exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah, good luck, Sony. Yeah, good luck, mate. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. By. they can't yeah. they can't match my humor. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so then they've got creative activities, so like screenshots, videos as well, which will pop up on cards. Um, and the, the main kind of what I thought was kind of interesting for me was activity so they had like progress within game levels and that like was, percentage yeah I, I like this yeah i did like this and they even had like completion time hints mm. and stats of each level and kind of how they estimate how long it would take to like complete that level and that yeah, actual yeah. thing which is and the hints were really really cool the so, hints were good yeah yeah because yeah. i saw the video i watched like where if I get stuck in a game, you go on, yeah, you go online, you look for a hint, and sometimes it does spoil it for you because they give you like some story info or stuff you don't want to see. Mm. But I, I saw the hints through PlayStation. They kind of they're trying to do it so there's no spoilers. Yeah, and you've got um, to agree to load of cookies, and there's ads popping up everywhere on them yeah, sites as well. Which yeah, is exactly, great. yeah. So that I did, yeah, I thought that was a really good, um, a really good uh, innovation, to be honest. Yeah, built in, built in hints. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, especially as someone who likes trophies and collecting trophies and the percentages, mm-hmm. I feel like that's really going to help with those kind of things. It's just yeah. quality of life. And it's almost like a a completionist dream, like that mm-hmm. kind of UI is kind of like people that want to complete things 100%. Yeah. And I am kind of a, a bit of a completionist and a little bit of a trophy hunter. 
And yeah, all them things are just really trying to push towards it and the tracking of the trophies and all them pop-ups is, yeah, for me, is is fantastic. Good, yeah. And I would definitely use it. Um, the next feature they kind of showed with the hints and also they showed that you can use it with friends sharing screen, um, share screen, as they called it, mm-hmm. um, is the picture and picture, which it seems to be the year of picture and picture because obviously iOS 14 also, you can now do picture and picture, which I love because I like doing more than one thing at once. Mm -hmm. Um, This may be my favorite feature, um, the fact that you can. And I can imagine, although they didn't kind of confirm it, but I imagine you're about to do it with like YouTube and other like media apps. Maybe. And you're about to have just like a little thing, just watch something or like a a podcast or Mm. I don't know, because there's some games, a bit like Avengers or Destiny, where I'm not really listening to the dialogue. Um, Yeah, yeah. I normally got something on my phone or my iPad or I'm listening to something else and then playing the game. Yeah. And the fact I can have like a screen on like a picture and picture on the TV is, um, it's really cool. Yeah. No, just, yeah. So I could be playing God of War and you could be playing Spider-Man and we can just be chatting and I can see what you're doing in the corner and, you know, <laughs> yeah. even, even stop playing what I'm doing and just watch you or whatever. Yeah. So I thought that was good. I know some of the features are only available if you're a PlayStation plus member. The hints and stuff yeah. were, yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, cool, yeah. For, for obviously, for us, it doesn't matter because we are. But um, Yeah, but online yeah. play requires it. So exactly, if you yeah. want to do all these things where you're sharing with people, you've then gotta you're going to have Plus, anyway. Plus anyway. So mm. it's like, uh. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no, I thought that was really good, yeah. The uh, being able to, uh, yeah, share screen. I thought that was... Uh, that was yeah, that was we, really cool. Especially we'll try like, that out on, on launch day when we're playing. We'll try it out. We'll see. Uh, okay, we'll try it out, definitely. Yeah, see um, Although you said about playing two different games, I think it'd be quite cool playing the same game. Like if you're mm, playing like a, yeah. like a, for me, like Destiny and you're doing like a raid or something mm. and then someone's doing one thing and you're like, where are you or what you're doing? And you can, you can see what other people are doing yeah, yeah. while you're playing it yourself. It'd be interesting to see, obviously I don't think it's going to be at launch, but to see if you can have more than one window. So imagine like you've got your frame and then on like one of the sides, you've got like, everybody in your party you can see all their screens mm. and everything that they're doing at the same time yeah i think that's a really interesting future of how they could evolve that if, yeah. if that's possible but yeah no, it's really cool yeah see how it goes fun, yeah. um the next one is uh voice chat and messages have been integrated into kind of one feed um a little bit like the ps4 has now um obviously you can chat between ps4 ps5 and the ps app Everybody mm-hmm. can be into one party yeah. and all your chats are in there, which I thought was quite cool. I, I actually was in a chat, um, a party with my friend when I was playing uh, Ghosts. And it was quite interesting because we went into like, he started a chat, like a party. And then when I went into the join the party, I had all like our messages. And it was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, Cause we used to play Anthem together. It was like a message from like back in like 2018 or whatever, when I posted the picture of that. So it's kind of interesting that it's all in one place and that like, these parties are kind of ongoing, a bit like, yeah. like social media groups. And so you can just like dip in and out the same group if you wanted to and it never yeah, like yeah. goes away. So, yeah, it's kind of cool. That's good, yeah. And they also do the – you can um, use the um, – like you can dictate messages now instead of having to type them out, which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, very so, cool. Yeah, yeah. That, that save a lot of time. It will do, yeah, because the – Although they did improve it, but it was a little bit clunky at first when you had to like type out things, like mm. especially like you had to put in like an email, your like your email or something, yeah. and it just took forever. It was such a labor to do. So yeah, it's so much better. And I feel like the solution that they first come up with was using the touchpad, which was even more awkward. even worse. Yeah, and I was like, oh yeah, no, this is no, not no, the solution. So yeah, yeah. please no, 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 no. no. Um, the next one was. Uh, you can use the cards in the control center to switch between games. So if you've got party members um, playing a whole other game, like a multiplayer game, and you're playing something else, like they used the example they were playing Sackboy at first, Big Adventure, yeah. and then he had a load of people that were playing um, Destruction All-Stars. And so, Which is a lie. No, no, like, there ain't going to be a load of people playing Destruction All-Stars, but yeah. So. Well, yeah, well, yeah. they were. Obviously, they're yeah. Sony first party people. So, um yeah, so they jumped to that game. They obviously showed off the SSD, but they did fast forward it, how quick it was to jump into the game. It would be quite interesting. Say if you've got like, people in your party that are playing more than one game, what, are you going to get all them cards? Like, <laughs> yeah, different yeah. options? Say like, you've got a party of like 10 people and ten people, all 10 people playing different games. You're going to have 10 different cards of all 10 different games that you can join? Yeah, yeah. I think it may, yeah, it may be limited to games that you can actually obviously quick 
a quick join. So mm. maybe say they're like, all compatible. They're all multiplayer games. Are you going to get 10 options? It's, I don't know how that would work. Maybe yeah. you will. I don't know. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, oh, sorry about that. Tapped my keyboard instead of moving down. Um, so um, the next one was the shared button changed to the create button. Oh, okay. um, so PS5 apparently will always be recalled in recent gameplay. Um, you can now take photos and videos in 4K and you can post them into your party, social media, like Twitter and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So um, similar to how you had it before, but obviously now it's in 4K and you can now include Twitter. I don't know if you could do Twitter before. Um, I don't know if that's something that's new. Um, and it always recording is quite cool because sometimes you get that little bit of like you do something really cool and you want to like yeah, press share yeah, yeah, and then yeah. you've missed it and you're like ah yeah. oh. so it's kind of cool that it's always recording recent gameplay so if yeah. you do, do something that you want to share you can capture that so it's quite cool especially for content creators that are obviously showing off their gameplay and a lot of like the twitch streaming stuff yeah and yeah they're kind of future proofing and making it so much easier for them kind of people to like share and yeah. the ps4 was quite forward thinking with that with all like the live from playstation stuff and all the twitch stuff and that's really kicked off like in the current gen of like people streaming their gameplay and stuff which mm. is um and obviously i feel like it's only going to become bigger yeah um so the next thing they kind of did was they pressed the home button and obviously it took you to the home screen which is kind of the starting place if you did turn off your ps5 and you obviously booted it up um, I thought the PS, the not the PS5, sorry, the home screen was kind of clean. It had like the little apps and it yeah. kind of had a little bit of, um, I kind of like the small icons and the rest of the screen was kind of filled with like information about that game. A little bit similar to how we have now with the tiles, but it seemed like it's, they've kind of improved on that yeah, idea. Improved on it, yeah. So they kind of got DLC activities are like a bit like what you have in the cards. You've got video clips, trophies, etc um and it said some ps4 games will also have this feature but obviously not all of them will yeah i imagine all the first party ones and obviously it's probably up to the third parties whether or not they want to add that integration i imagine all the games coming from probably september this year will probably all have it yeah and probably older games probably won't um so yeah pretty cool what do you think of the home screen yeah, I thought it was nice. So you say, yeah, it's like, kind of seems less cluttered um, and a mm. little bit more of the same what we've got in the PS4. But yeah, like, yeah, cleaned up. Um, yeah. And like uh, yeah, just, yeah, it, it's nice because I don't like change. So it, it looks similar enough to what I have now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, okay, it, yeah, but I'd but like say, yeah, more refined and yeah, it looked good. Yeah, yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, also on the home screen, there was two tabs. They only showed us games, but up the top left-hand corner, they did say media. So I imagine mm. the media will have the similar thing with the apps going along, which I thought was quite cool. I don't mm. really like how they do the media thing now, where you have like the media app thing, and you have to drop down, and then you have them all there. Yeah. I kind of, I don't, I don't really like the layout how it is now. So hopefully, it's similar to how they've done the games, and they've got like yeah. just apps going across, which makes it a little bit easier um another thing on the home screen is explore um which i imagine will be similar to what's new i believe it's called on the ps4 which is a feature i never use yeah i hope they kind of improve on this idea so basically what they said explore is basically official stories and news from playstation um and it's currently only going to be long well when it launches it's only going to be available in the us um so i imagine it will come to europe and stuff Mm -hmm. later down the line um I kind of feel like this is the interesting one and I hope they kind of do it right because I hope they kind of explore with like state of plays being a thing now. I hope you can like watch state of plays through this like explore and they say upcoming games are coming here and they show like gameplay of like Horizon and yeah. Ratchet. Um, and I don't know. I feel like they should have them kind of spots for like upcoming first party games and yeah. have state of plays there. But like we've got a state of play coming this Tuesday you can access it through here. You just click it and you just watch it. Done it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that I feel like yeah. that is what that should be for. Yeah. I don't know whether or not they're just going to have blog posts from PlayStation blog instead, yeah. which you can have that too. But yeah, I hope they will give you the ability to watch those kind of things live. Cause I always think it's odd that they don't advertise mm. them kind of things on the PS4. It's like, this is your big event. Surely you yeah, want to exactly, advertise yeah. the people that have got a PS4 to get as many people. Yeah. With, like, well, with like the yeah, the news, the new like you said a little bit earlier about the um, you know the, the latest news and like sure yeah, and hopefully they'll incorporate into that. So it does make sense, like you say, if you're on the PlayStation and it comes up, hey, this is this is happening, and yeah, you can just jump in or yeah, yeah, I mean, advertising if, is it for trading? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that'd be good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, 
17 I've got is a uh, so the PS5 um, PS Store is now integrated into the system, so it's not going to be a, a standalone app like it was on the PS4. Yeah. Um, they didn't actually click into it, but they just kind of showed you like a preview kind of view. It kind of looked like a Netflix style, didn't it, with the kind of the rows and the tiles yeah. kind of yeah. style. So it's probably going to look a little bit cleaner like everything else does. Kind of cool. Um, and they also confirmed on the PS Store that um, PS no, on the PS5 store, sorry, that PS4 games will be sold on there too. So I kind of mentioned that a few weeks ago. I wonder if you could buy them. And obviously they did mention that compatible PS4 games will be available on the store as well, which is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah because yeah. you want to, yeah, because you were thinking about Prince of Persia, weren't you? So there you go. They had to uh, exactly. grab Prince of, the new Prince of Persia re- remake, invert, you know, quotation. Yeah, and, and yeah. It's, uh, it seems more of a, in between remaster make is yeah. kind of what it is but yeah yeah i'll wait i'm gonna wait for the ps5 to see if it's on the store before i even think about getting it yeah because i still don't trust that that one is compatible yeah yeah i have yeah. to be honest so yeah yeah okay um, um but yeah that's that's everything i got that was kind of the video um yeah. Overall, I think it's um I really I really like it. I feel like yeah. they've similar to the other one, like you said before, it's just improved on certain things and they've really pushed towards people that like trophies and completionists with the hints yeah. and the percentages and the times and and that's how it it just spoke to me. Like yeah. how I play games and I think like you're probably similar. I feel like it's uh it's it's a great UI for us. Yeah, and like the sharing as well. They've gone in all, all in on the sharing and, uh, and 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 like the screenshots and like you say the video and everything as well. So yeah, yeah. they've taken what they've got and they've just improved it, which is yeah, that's what you're meant to do. So yeah, yeah def- definitely good. Definitely, um, I did like it, and it just makes me more excited now for the launch of the PS5. I don't know if you got yeah, it made me more excited. Yeah, you didn't say up top how many days you got the days in front of you. How you got your calendar? Oh you yeah, I forgot to day? do that. Didn't yeah, I never yeah. Said, did it this time. Uh, I can quickly have a look. So yeah, Reese is gonna do a little countdown every every week um, to the launch of the PS5 because he's he's got his little calendar and he scr- crosses off the days and you know, yeah, he, he just can't wait. Oh, 32 days. There you go. So, oh, that's, that's, uh, it's so close. Yeah, it's so close. I'm actually I'm really looking forward to the PS5 launch. Obviously, get the PS5 and. Uh, get to play, you know, play the new, you know, new next gen console and that. But I've also got a weekend away that week, which I'm really looking forward to. So, yeah, it's double, double excitement for me, you know, just for that uh, week. Yeah, for that weekend. Yeah. 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 Well, we've got to rush well, our podcast on the Friday. Yeah. Right? Well, I say that if we're in lockdown again, then it's not happening. So let's hope. That oh yeah, that, 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 yeah. I don't think yeah. that will happen. But yeah. yeah. But yeah, no, good. That's good. Um, yeah, good coverage of the um of the new UI there. Um. Yeah, looking forward to really excited for the new um, the, the new the new console getting delivered. Um, I was speaking to one of my friends and she said she was trying to you know where can she get a PS Five pre ordered and or she will be she be able to get one at launch and I was looking as well and like there's just nothing like there's been you had the first two weeks of the pre orders and then that was it like there's just yeah it's just quiet so. I don't think I don't think there'll be another wave before launch. No. If you haven't pre-ordered one now, I don't think you're getting it, unless you get lucky in a store. You would like have to I go said, to the store yeah, on the day. Like a store, yeah. But I that's going to be midnight. Like that's going to be a midnight thing, mm. and there's going to be some crazy people that will do it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, it's like the time when I, I, I said before on the podcast, I went to get a 360 when they launched the night of the launch because I put it off and I thought, oh, no, I want one. Went up to Tesco for midnight launch and uh, there was a load of people queuing outside and they said basically like, we've got 20, there's like 50 people in the queue. Up to this point, there's no point you queuing because there ain't none. So yeah, and I had to wait. I thought I had to wait till like February, March to actually get one. So it might even be later than that, actually. Yeah, I know. It's, yeah. So. Which what console are you talking about? Sorry, uh, uh, this was the uh, Xbox 360. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, mm. So yeah, yeah. If you got to, yeah, you could you could get one launch. You have to be quite lucky, though, like you say. So yeah, you have to be lucky. Well, I told my story a few times about the how I got my PS4, but I never got exactly, it till February, yeah, and yeah. I was very lucky that my local supermarket so, had it, yeah. and they had one in the back. And I actually called mm. them, which is <laughs> a odd thing to do, but I actually called yeah. them and to find out whether or not they had any because every site just said it was sold out. And that was sold in February. 
and obviously it came out in November. So this is going to be the same. Although people say it's a pandemic and people obviously struggling, for, but the stats of game selling says the opposite. They're breaking yeah. records. Yeah. Because people were at home playing games and every, and you saw how crazy it was. We'd get the pre-order. I don't mm. think this is going to be exactly, people haven't yeah. got money and they're not getting it. This is going to be, they are gone. You, you won't be able to get it. It's crazy. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I kind of see the opposite. I feel like this is going to break records. And a bit like what, um, I can't remember who it was, something so many basically said they expect in the first, obviously, physical year, which I think, imagine, will be up to April, they plan to, they expected to sell more PS5s than they did PS4s in that time period. And I think they sold really? 7 million PS4s in that opening window. Yeah. So they're planning to sell, what, over 7 yeah. So that also debunks the rumor about they couldn't manufacture more than five. Because mm. if they're planning to sell more than seven by April or expected to, then clearly they're not having those kind of issues. But yeah, yeah it's interesting. We'll see how it goes. It was interesting yeah. that the day before Burger King did a little sound thing. And I thought, is Burger King going to announce the PSUI? Did you see that on Twitter? Yeah, no, I didn't see it. No. Did you not see that? No. So, yeah, it was like the king from Burger King, and he had like a Burger King like bag, like a brown bag, and he opened it up and he had like a blue light, and he did like the startup sound for the PS5. Okay, yeah. And then at the end, it said like 15th of October, which obviously there was the Thursday. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, is Burger King coming on now? Yeah, but, yeah the king's <laughs> just going to come out, bust out, and like, listen, bitches, this is the UI. This weirdest uh, yeah. cross- crossover yeah. ever. It's such an American thing, but yeah, apparently yeah. what it was. Buy a burger. Apparently what it is, is there's a US only starting on the 15th. You can win a PS5 by oh, um, okay. at, at Bird King. So Bird yeah, King. that that was what that was. So oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Good luck to those in, um, yeah. in America with that competition. Yeah. But yeah. Yes. Cool. 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 Yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah. Um, we now move on to everyone's favorite uh, segment of the show and it is this day in gaming. Um, so uh, you got a yeah. jingle. You got jingles for this? I don't. I, I didn't have one don't prepared. Have I feel like this okay, is your right, this me, is your job. This is your stuff. Okay, let's uh, let's go. This day in gaming. Yeah, is that a good little jingle? Yeah, yeah. It was so full. I don't know. It was so full. I, was I feel like you really put a lot of effort into it. I should have clicked my fingers while I was doing it. Yeah, this yeah, is no. just terrible for anybody that's listening to this. All <sighs> like, audio listeners, which yeah, is pretty sorry. much everybody because we don't yeah. have video. So yeah, sorry, uh, everyone, but the game will make up for it. So um, we'll see. This, this day in 2010, which was my favourite year in gaming, oh, um, yeah? a oh, game yeah. was released on the 19th of October in the US. This is a US release, uh, uh, and that game was Fallout New Vegas. Ooh. Yeah, and it got released in Europe on the 22nd of October. But um, yeah, so Fallout New Vegas, um, as you probably know, I love Fallout games. Uh, this one was no exception. The first time I actually got hands on and played this game was uh, we, I went to a Eurogamer Expo uh, with my mates in uh, Earl's Court, and it was there. There was no queue, and I'd load of like load of booths out for it, and I you know played it, and I just couldn't wait for it because obviously two years prior Fallout. Mm. Three had come out, so I was already. Well, I couldn't I couldn't wait for the next Fallout game. So playing sure. this, and it was just it was just brilliant. Um, so it's like a obviously an RPG set in a post-apocalyptic world. It's kind of like a Western RPG, uh, and it's just a brilliant game. Um, it kind of took some stuff from uh, Fallout Three and improved on it. So you got like the gun mods, and you could mod- yeah modify all your weapons, um, and. Yeah, just got some fond memories of playing it. I remember when you you start it up and you do like the, the prologue and and all that, and you build your character, and then like as you're starting to wander off, there's a sign saying "Do not go past this point," and you're just like, "Yeah, whatever." I, it's an open world game. I'm going to explore where I want to explore, and literally went down there, and like a minute later, I just got destroyed by these. I don't know if you remember, I don't know if you, you played it, didn't you? No. Oh, you're not playing. Okay, so there's these um like these flying like big moth things called Cazadors, and uh, I, I think they are the toughest, one of the toughest enemies. They're worse than um Death Claws, and they just killed me straight away. So I was like, oh, okay, so I won't, I won't go down, you know, that bit. Yeah. Um. It, yeah, and I remember when I played it at Eurogamer, doing a bit. Um. And then in the background, like uh, in like the distance, there was like this big statue kind of thing, and I thought the first. When I get the game, the first thing I'm going to do is play it. I'm going to try and find all that 
statue thing was yeah and um yeah they did it and it was like a, an outpost for like ranger outpost and yeah it's just a fun game it's got a brilliant branches storyline you can kind of go with you know each faction you know sure. you go caesar's legion uh there's the you know you can get like help the boomers can help you and if you do their storyline they rebuild like this pre-war era plane and they come and help you and you got mr house and yep. yeah it, it's just kind of yeah it's a brilliant game obviously the vaults different vaults in there you can go and explore uh yeah i just loved just loved the game um and they had some good dlc for it although i didn't play it all so they had four lots of dlc um they had uh dead money which i did play which was all right um hot honest hearts old world blues and lonesome road i know my brother played them all when he said there was some of the better dlcs that he's played um, cool, cool. They, they also had like gun runner dlc which was like um so you could modify your weapons even more uh, but yeah if you like rpgs um and you like uh you know fallout yeah and you're not played this play it's on game pass so you can play it on, on that oh wow and, the um, first time you've actually given a convenient way to access a game well is that well I, I said that and don't oh, worry no, i still no, have no, no. because <laughs> i am um, with the fallout games i like to buy the special editions and i bought one a couple of, i bought my fallout new vegas special edition for the ps3 years ago yep um and i went on i went on ebay to have a look you know if it was on there so they did have one earlier on and it this was early on today when i looked they had it on for the 360 the special edition box one uh, and it was going for 124 pound and 95p and that was buy it now and i've literally just refreshed to have a look at it and it's gone jesus so christ it's gone so you know i've got my one you know you get your little um you get your little, uh your, your chip you get some playing cards you get like a comic um yep. Yeah, it's brilliant. And uh, yeah, I just love it. Yeah, it's just a brilliant game. Like I say, yes, yeah, on Game Pass, if you haven't played it, go and jump in. Talking about Game Pass, I actually finally got round to um, upgrading my subscription. So I don't, oh. pay, I don't pay two separate subscriptions no more. I mean, I'm just, I'm just on a one. So. Yeah, you're the ultimate uh, now. Nah, yeah, but yeah, that, yeah, that's this this day in gaming, Fallout New Vegas. Brilliant game. Um, yeah, can't, can't you know, I know it's 10 years old. It's still. You know, I haven't played it. I've played it years after it came out. I haven't played it, re you know, but um, I can imagine it's still just as good. So. Yeah, any type of games can definitely hold up, can't yeah. they? It's like playing yeah. Sky Skyrim or yeah. something like that. And it's obviously I, very old. I never platinumed it, though. That's, yeah, I didn't, didn't platinum it. Which oh, is, is it one of the ones with the one trophy? Fuck you. No, oh. it's the one with, uh, like, you had to bust that every casino, so you had to go in there and win, and like, I'm not very good at, like, card games and all that, so I don't really Oh, know. I remember you yeah, saying so, that. Yeah, 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 yeah so, cool. uh, But, yeah, 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 brilliant game. Mm. Go play it. That is a... Uh, Did you play it originally on PlayStation or Xbox? Uh, originally, I bought it on Xbox, played it on the 360, and sure. then when I bought my special edition, I got it for the PS3. Okay. I don't know if it was because I went on a PS3 or they only had the PS3 version. Mm. But yeah, I just, uh, I just bought it on that. Okay. So, well, yeah. we'll probably get a new Vegas 2 since the acquisition. I, hope, of the I, I, would, I would love that. And I would it makes be buying, sense, doesn't it? Yeah. Really? I yeah. would be buying a special edition as well. So yeah. Be like uh, um, Halo and Doom Guy crossover. Yeah. That crossover makes the most, that makes the most sense mm. is obviously a new Vegas 2 because yeah. it's, it's beloved by so many people. It and is, yeah. like it's me, all, like, you know, yeah, I think that was my, maybe the most passionate this day in gaming I've ever given. You know, can't recommend it more. So yeah, go out and go out and play it. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if I ever get Game Pass, you should play it. Yeah, I will give it a go. Yeah. But unfortunately, when I get Game Pass, it will be to play Elder Scrolls. Um, so I won't be playing yeah, another yeah, RPG yeah. straight after that. I think no. I would have a bit of fatigue. So yeah, um, yeah. I, it's the one. I don't know. Maybe one day yeah um we can go on to what we've been playing watching etc yeah um bulk of what i've been playing which i've kind of written down my thoughts are is obviously ghost of shima legends which launched this friday mm -hmm. um but other than that i've been i played a bit of fifa okay yeah. fifa 21 which i'm very annoyed with myself for buying because i was telling myself that i would not buy it it's basically fifa 20 they just patched a few new, obviously the new kits and transfers and stuff. And I watched this like YouTube video about 10 great things that are in career mode now. And I'm not normally influenced, but that just influenced me to buy the game because I was like, okay, these are quite cool. I want to give it a go. And I'm just kind of like, I've played it like once since it launched last Friday or twice, sorry. And I'm just like, eh, 
I wish I never did that. It was a waste of yeah. money. So um I'm also re-watching uh, Demon Slayer dubbed. I finally got access to it being dubbed because I only ever watch it subbed and it's actually a lot better watching it dubbed. I do prefer dubbed um, anime. So re-watching that, such cool. I, I, it's, it's by far my favourite anime. And uh, the movie, funny enough, came out fr- last Friday as we're recording. And apparently um, it actually broke like cinema sites in J- all over Japan. Oh, really? And it's breaking records and it's, good, it's set to be like the biggest selling um like anime movie or yeah. in japan whatever it's like really popular over there and i'm not surprised it is it's really good if you're interested in watching it i've got a link of like okay, this google yeah. drive of all yeah. the dubbed videos in like 1080p yeah, yeah give it a watch it's only like 26 yeah. episodes season one it's it's it generally it's the best anime i've ever seen okay um yeah like i said the other thing i've uh played is uh ghosts um but i'll kind of save my thoughts to after i can yes. do a little breakdown well have you been you've been watching playing anything at all? so i'm still watching always sunny in philadelphia that's uh that's my go-to now if i want to want to watch something you know mm. i go to that i'm on season nine now so okay is that last, uh, the latest was no was, season 14 is the latest I think. Uh, yeah. yeah so um mm. or 13 uh so yeah watching that um i did start to watch a series on netflix called the haunting of blind manor um don't bother. It's so crap. I'm not going to bother watching the end of it because it's supposed to be a horror. It's supposed to be, you know, and you see people like, you see reviews like, oh, it's so scary. People can't sleep at night. It's like, why? It's just not scary. It's boring. You know, it's just doing so. <laughs> that is, don't, don't watch. Okay. And um, uh, game wise, uh, finally logged back onto my Xbox. Um, had to do an update before I could play anything. I was going to play The Outer Worlds, but I, I sent mm-hmm. it to you. Uh, it's got a 29.3 gig update. Oh, 23, Ooh. yeah, 23.9 gig update. Is that the DLC? I don't know if it's DLC. I don't think Gorgon, the, yeah, the latest one, the Gorgon Astro, I don't think that's on Game Pass, but I don't know. Mm, yeah, I feel it's like it, big, uh, is it not? I feel like it big would update. be. Yeah. Um, so I didn't play that. I did download it a game called... It must be. Called... That, that wouldn't make sense. Sorry to interrupt. But say know. you get like, the game on Game Pass, but then you've got to buy the DLC separately. Let me, so you uh, get a whole package in Game Pass if you've got Game Pass, No. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, no, I'll, it must be, it must include DLC. That doesn't make sense. Uh, me, I'll, have, I'll have a look afterwards. Um, but I did download a game called The Long Dark. I mentioned it. It came out. It got released on the Switch a little while ago, but it was on Game mm. Pass. So I just downloaded it on Game Pass, and it's kind of like um, set in a post electromagnetic apocalypse where everything's gone wrong. You crash land in Alaska Ooh. in the wilderness, and you kind of have to survive. So it doesn't start, sound like a great place to be surviving. I no, guess. no, it, it, uh, it, and I do keep dying as well. So, but I played mm, that for a while. Sounds pretty bad. Yeah, and um, mafia, like I say, yeah, just been yeah going through mafia a bit. Um, I was me- oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I, I was meant to play um, ghosts yesterday, but we was out. We had like some people got in touch with us last minute to go look at some play, like places to live. So we went to do that. But uh, yeah. Hopefully, I'll be able to play a few more games with my um, time off this week. Mm. Uh, but yeah, it's um, yeah Game Pass. I looked at Game Pass. The so I noticed some stuff had been removed. So the uh, Wolfenstein's on there ain't, ain't on there no more. The only one on there now is Young Blood, which is supposed to be terrible. Um, the original Doom has been re- removed. You only got Doom Eternal on there. Well, not the original one. Sorry, the one from 2016. Only Doom Eternal on there. Why? Um, um, that doesn't make sense. Well, I don't know. They're gone. They're not on there no more. Okay. Mm. Um, because I still had uh, Wolfenstein uh, 2, uh, well, I can't remember what it's called, um, I, on my homepage. I went to play it and it was like, this is gone. So I was like, all right. Rocket League's being taken off, which I don't really care about. And um, I was going to download Red Dead. Because it's free to play. Is that why? Well, I don't know. I was going to Red Dead Redemption 2 come on it um, in May. And that's gone already. So I think it was only on there for three months. So Red Dead 2 come on and it's gone. So... Uh, yeah, yeah, interesting. But, um, I got Red to Redemption too on Game Pass. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it, that's uh, that's off there now. But um, yeah, updated. I upgraded. I'm um, to 10.99 for Xbox. Mm. Uh, do they do they Pass like do they give you like notification that how long games are going to be on Game Pass beforehand? Uh, they that'd be might, quite useful. Yeah, they might do. But uh, so I I really really go on it, so I wouldn't know because that's mm. when I looked online to see where Red Dead was, and they was like, yeah, it went off in September. Yeah. So um, but. Yeah, the games, to be fair, the games have got taken off. I bought the 2016 Doom on PSN 
set of PlayStation sales. So I got that yeah. anyway. Okay. And um, yeah, Doom Eternal, I want to play that. But uh, yeah, ten ninety nine now for that Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Um, I might actually try and get Game um, X Cloud a go because um, I'll just take my girlfriend's phone off of her and just use that. She got Android. So, She's got a Samsung S10 Plus. Yeah, so. I, I feel like that's that's you could end a relationship over that. Yeah, so but I might have had to play game. You know, the fact that you got to send a green bubble to someone is just that's a violation. Oh, we only we only use WhatsApp anyway. So. Oh, okay, yeah. right, fair enough. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so that's um yeah, we might be able to give that a go this week as well. And, yep. and if I like it, I'll buy one of those little clips that go onto your controller. So. Yeah, I did say to her I was going to use it, you know, her phone, and she was like, "No," and I was like, "I will." So, <laughs> <laughs> I am fair enough. When she's yeah. not looking, you can download yeah. this app yeah. and play a game without her using her phone. Yeah, I don't yeah. think that's happening. I just don't see how uh, it's going to work. It's quite difficult maybe. to take someone's phone off of them and then decide to use it as a game console. You know, it's, um, yeah. yeah. We'll see. Sh- sharing's caring, so hmm. you know, yeah. well they need to put, like I said, put game, put not Game Pass, put X Cloud on TVs and put it on the Switch. Yep. And if Nintendo will allow that, but I can, I don't see why TV manufacturers won't. Like Samsung already got it on their phones, so why would they not want it on their TVs? Um, so yeah, I don't see what's stopping it from happening. So yeah. Yeah, um, and a little update. Um, I'll just Google it. Unfortunately, no, Outer Worlds Peril on Gorgon is not available on Game Pass. This includes oh. both Xbox Game Pass and Game Pass for PC. So it's a 23 gig update. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. You know, it's just, yeah. Maybe you download the DLC, but you don't have access to it until you buy it. Maybe, yeah. Which Maybe. is annoying because I just want to play the game. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to do a 23 gig update. So mm. I don't know. keep your Xbox on more often. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, well, the main game I played this week, which is new, well, it's not a new game, but new DLC, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what you would call this. It's kind of like a such a big add-on. It's almost like a new game, and it's actually fantastic. Um, so uh, who, what's the studio? Sucker Punch, sorry. Um, they've turned the kind of the Ghost of Tsushima gameplay into a multiplayer, and it's, kind of, it's a bit like a looter shooter um, or a looter-ish kind of game. Um, enemies don't drop loot you kind of complete missions and you get loot and dlc yeah um, there's kind of two main kind of missions quote unquote that you can do um the first one is story missions which are basically a two-player um missions which i've been playing with my friend um basically there's like each one has like three parts so you have like part one part two and part three in each mission there's roughly around i think 10 of them Mm -hmm. um and each kind of part within the mission gets harder by each stage you go into um there's also like three levels of difficulty so you've got like bronze silver gold um and surprisingly because we've now done all the bronze ones and we're now doing it on the silver in the silver they actually changed the mission so it's like a new mission in like the same area which i was like wow i didn't expect that i was expecting us to do the same mission but a bit more difficult yeah, it's yeah. like a power or a recommended power to do the silver. You kind of got to be like level 50 or 50 power, whatever you want to call it. Um, and at the end of each mission, you drop like um, items which you can equip. So you can get different like stats on like your sword. You can get different stances. So in like Ghost of Shima, obviously you have all four stances of like the wind, stone, yeah, yeah. water. I can't remember what the last one's called, but in this, you actually have a sword. So you have like a wind sword or a katana, sorry. And um, and then you can get ones that are like epic and you get, I don't know, like a looter game, you get that yeah, different yeah. levels. And some swords have, or katana, sorry, have like two stances and they mm-hmm. have different stats and things. And then you can equip different like ghost weapons. So uh, ghost bombs and sticky bombs and things like that. Yeah, um, yeah. There are some that are kind of, restricted to like a certain class so like mm. i've been playing as assassin and the assassin has like the blow dart which is poison he yeah he only has that um the hunter which is like the bow specialist only has the long bow mm. i believe the ronin has i think sticky some kind of bomb or grenade i can't remember i never played as that but um i'm not entirely sure and i'm not entirely sure what the samurai has um it's 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 really fun uh, like, yeah. and even the like the 
playing with someone as well kind of you have like these different elements like you have sun moon and things like that and yeah. you have your yours and like the enemies have that line like, element so it's like colored so you have like orange and they're like glowing so you have yeah, to yeah. kind of get that element and you can't really do much damage to them unless you have that element on oh, okay yeah. the like, mechanics that you have in like destiny and things like that um the other kind of missions in it is called survival missions which are basically just waves, waves so yeah. um the bronze you have like 15 rounds silver you have 20 rounds we're not we ain't done the gold yet because we're not high enough level so basically what it is you have like three bases that you need to protect yeah, yeah. and you'll get like the enemies will sound, sound a horn you'll see like a symbol say in the camp and all those enemies that and you kind of got to protect it mm. and it's kind of like a circle which you got to stand in and if enemies are standing in the circle like a bar kind of goes down if the bar fills you lose that and yeah. what happens if you lose that is you lose a chunk of your life oh right, okay um and in between rounds it's like you can get like ghost bears you can get ghost walls you can get like spirits to like heal the whole team if you want but it obviously yeah. costs you points that you're mm. getting by killing enemies and um protecting the bases so um and obviously you get loot at the end. So there's kind of like every three rounds, you unlock a new loot box that you're going to get at the end. So if you obviously complete the entire thing, you'll get all the loot. Yeah, However, if you yeah. like lose or everybody dies in like round six, you would only get the first two boxes. Mm. And obviously the further you go, and if you complete you better, get like better, better stuff, better gear. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, you don't really get any XP in the survival stuff. It's all about the loot. You get better loot. Yeah, yeah. you only get the real XP in the um, in the story missions. Okay. Um, and once you complete all that, then you have these things called nightmare missions, which I imagine will be slightly higher. And then you have got a raid, and they both say coming soon, so they're not oh, been unlocked okay. yet. Yeah, yeah. So um, there's a lot of cosmet- cosmetic, sorry, stuff to unlock, different outfits, different stuff. Um, and you get daily challenges as well, which obviously you can play for. And yeah, no, it's, it's there's a lot of yeah, deep mechanics I'd... in the game. You wouldn't expect it, and it's 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 generally really fun to play because the game is fun to play anyway. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's no, good. Yeah, no, I do want to give it a go. So um, yeah, I have to uh, I have to give that a go. Yeah, you definitely do. Yeah. yeah, you kind of get a little bonus like objectives and things that you can do. And we did one where it was like this last mission. I can't remember which it was. It's called Someone's Curse. And basically what it is, is there's some enemies that are kind of linked together by like life force. So you've got to kill, if you kill one of them, you've got to kill the other one really quickly. Otherwise, oh, okay. the, come the, back. it will both come yeah, back yeah. alive. And there's uh, there's one of the missions on like silver where you do the last part of the mission, which is normally the hardest, where you can do it with your, obviously the person you're playing with. But you can't go a distance from each other. you got to like, because there's like a link between the two of you. So you've got to stay close. And if one of you dies, you obviously you got like say, but if you both die, also you just completely foul it. But it was that was really difficult because I play as an assassin. I kind of sneak and jump and go around a different way where we couldn't do that at all. So it was kind of mm, like we had yeah. to stay together, and it was. Um, and if you go far away, you're you, you start dying. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's there's some. It sounds fun. Yeah, no, it you know, it's good. generally really fun yeah. to play. You would, I wouldn't play matchmaking with someone. Unless yeah, you're doing survival because you don't need to talk to him. You're just yeah, killing yeah. and doing pain. But the story missions, you do need to kind of play with someone you know in a party yeah, yeah. and talk because there's some where you've got platforms and mm-hmm. if you've got a certain element like on your sword, like the sun element, and you jump, the platform will only come like, you could only jump on that platform if you've got that element, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. And then it's like two different elements. So you've got like one person jumps and then he jumps on there and then the next person jumps onto the next one and you kind of got to work together. There's yeah. a lot of um, cooperative stuff like that. So, it's, it, yeah, it's, 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 it's very cool. It's yeah, very, sweet. very generous to give it free. I would say I would have paid for this. It's, yeah, honestly, yeah. it's like my friend well, Joe's because we play um, Avengers together. And he said it's probably almost as much stuff in this than it was in Avengers. It's this little <laughs> package thing. Yeah, it's yeah. like, well, uh, yeah. I it's not quite. But, um, you yeah, know, it's, it's really impressive what they're packing. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll give that a go. I'll give that a go. I'm going to try, like I said, I'm going to try and fit in as uh, as much um, game as I can in my, my few days off. So, yeah, that's good. Yeah, no, definitely check it out. It's really cool. Yeah, we'll do. I'll, I'll hit you up when I do. When I do, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Because like yeah. you, yeah, you said the other day, I'll get scared in matchmaking. So, you know, so. Yeah, and it's not yeah. a thing you would probably find enjoyable playing with some yeah. random person. You need to yeah. be, like, communicating, like, you 
because you're doing different classes, everybody has different yeah. skill sets. Mm. So you need to be playing with someone that knows their skill set. And then you can like, like me, stealth attack. And like the assassin are the only ones that can actually kill like the more harder enemies, like stealthily. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, let's sneak, let's kill the hardest guy first and I will kill him. Yeah, and then do the rest. Do you know what I mean? So you need to like communicate of how you yeah. do that. It, when you go in guns blazing, you don't talk. Don't work. You, you get killed straight away. Yeah, yeah. that You have to like plan and strategize mm-hmm. how you're going to take each group of enemies. So, you know, it's, 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 it's fun. It's good. All right, cool. Sweet. Um, I think that is, uh, that's it for this week. It is. Normally we'd have yeah. the boys, but unfortunately yeah, it's that's, ended. Yeah, that's finished. So, Hopefully, um, is it next week? When when does um, The Mandalorian start? Next Friday, uh, next Friday after? May, I think it's at the end of October. So, it'd be yeah. After. so yeah, it won't be next episode. Yeah. It'll be the episode after we'll after, start. Yeah, that. So, yeah, once that starts, yeah. obviously we'll do our weekly updates like we did with the boys. Mm-hmm. Um, but until then... I yeah, guess that that's is a wrap uh, for this week, episode nineteen. It. Yeah, um, if you want to get in touch, you can go to our social media site. So we've got Facebook, Part Time Players Podcast. We've got Twitter at PT Players Pod. Uh, we've got Instagram, which is also um, PT Players Pod. Follow us on there. Um, if you want to get in touch, any questions? I was thinking as well, suggestions. If you've got anyone out there who's got any suggestions for episodes, that would be great because it means me and Reese don't have to think about it, and it's easier for us. Um, so yeah, if you want to <laughs> get you know, people to run the podcast yeah, for us. Yeah, if anyone yeah. wants to, if you've got any suggestions or ideas, yeah, let us know. Um, you can also email us at ptplayerspod at gmail dot com. Um, and yeah, remember to tell a friend and like and subscribe. Just one, and, as always. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, tell one, and then he'll tell two, and then they'll tell three, and then I'll, and then that's how we get massive. That's uh, that's my plan. So uh, yeah. But, yeah, and like and subscribe wherever you get your podcast. And remember, if you wouldn't mind, to leave a nice five star review and a nice comment uh, yeah. wherever you go because it helps us. Um, yeah, wherever immensely. you wherever you listen to it, yeah, YouTube podcast stuff. Yeah, we yeah. appreciate all those things. So yeah, thank you very yes. much, people, for listening. And, and uh, yeah, please yeah. write in some questions because it's kind of dried up in the last couple of weeks. So yeah, yeah, um, yeah, we was getting a few, and now we're not getting any. So yeah, though. No, um yeah thank you for listening and we'll be returning for episode 20 episode 20 next week yes Uh, we'll see you then thanks for listening and goodbye bye